वेलकम टू इन्फो हब हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू आर चैनल सो टूडे वील बी लर्निंग हाउ टू ट्रांसफॉर्म अ फेस इन टू अ टेक्स पोर्ट्रेट सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड टू सब्सक्राइब एंड प्रेस द बेल आईकॉन एंड नेवर मिस एनी अपडेट फ्रॉम इन्फो हब फर्स्ट वी नीड टू मेक अ डिसप्लेसमेंट मैप इन ऑर्डर टू रैप द टेक्स अराउंड द कंटूज ऑफ योर फेस सो फर्स्ट मेक अ डुप्लीकेट ऑफ द लेयर change the document to new and type in displacement click okay then go to filter blur gaussian blur this is important because displacement maps work well when slightly blur you can keep it to approx 10 depending on your image or you can see as similar as this then save as your file your psd file Now we can close the tab as we have already saved it. The rest of the steps at the starting are the same as explained in the previous video. You can go and check the link given above for full details. So after the image is fixed now we have to bring the required text to the image where we need to merge it after the position is fixed next is to change the properties of the text according to your own preference or according to your image property prefer to keep a bolder text and make sure that your caps is on and the rest you can change accordingly After you have adjusted the properties of your text, the next step is to convert this into a smart object. So as you can see this icon, click on this icon and select smart object. Then go to filter, distort, displace keep the scale between 0 to 10 this you can change later as well and the rest are by default set you don't need to make any changes click okay now select the displacement file which we saved now you can see a change appeared of the tonal values so this was the main purpose of the displacement map which we created first now off the eye icon of the text layer and make a snapshot of your image using the shortcut key control shift alt e and make sure to change the mode to linear burn shift the layer above the text and on the visibility of your text layer the rest you can change according to your preference the opacity levels brightness that is according to your own preference Now in case if you want to add your text to the background as well so first we need to make the duplicate of the text layer and shift it above 
then select the thumbnail of the image by pressing control and then go back to the text layer already selected and make a layer mask by pressing alt but make sure to disable the link icon which is created between both the layers now the rest you can change accordingly the size opacity and levels So this is your final look. We hope you had a very good session today. So see you in the next class with some more interesting topics. Thank you. We hope you like this video. Give your feedback in the comment section. Now you can also follow us on all social medias. Hit like and do subscribe our channel for more interesting videos.